Hello guys, how you doing? This is Goldberg once more. So today we are talking about everything about hidden bags. <laughs> yes sir. And why, you wonder? Well, I consider that this is something that people don't really care about. I mean, it's got some potential. So I'm going to show you the aspects of it. The first one is that it has a working lottery machine. As you can see here, I couldn't use it because you can only use that once a day, but you can get daily rewards with it. Examples of it, well, here you have them. Experience scrolls and balloons, fireworks, you name it. Sometimes you can even get some cosmetics. So that's really good. I recommend you to use it every single day. <coughs> Sorry. The second thing is that you've got some extra storage and it's basically like a bank. Notice that the base capacity of this box is going to be 1000 pots and you will get three additional pots with every single subscription day. Limiting in that I've been playing the game for seven years with subscription. So keep that in mind. Every single day with subscription will get you three additional pots. You can store here equipment, consumables, resources, whatever you want, all right? So that's good. Another cool thing about this, as you can see here, I'm playing on server Draconeros. As you enter in your Haven bag, you can access a chest with any of your characters within the same server, all right? That's important, within the same server. As you can see here, this is my Sadida on Draconeros, and I try to open the box but it tells me that I can't use it yet and that's because we have some restrictions the first one is that you can only access it when you get to level 10 there is also a delay of five minutes between accessing the chest with different characters non subscribers cannot access the bags and you can't exchange with another player while they're visiting your haven bag as well as you can not access your haven bag in certain places like I'm showing you on the picture all right so keep that in mind. Now, you've got a pocket size sap. Yeah, you can enter your haven bag and you have a sap. That's really good because sometimes you're just exploring the area and you are too far away from anything and maybe you don't have any kind of teleporting potion and boom, you enter your haven bag and you have a sap. How cool is that? <laughs> I just love it. And the other thing is that you can customize this place the way you want. I mean, look at this. You just click on customize and you can select between the themes because you can buy additional ones. Here, I just have two ones. Those are the default ones. It's a Carob and the Magnum. So if you click on customize and you try to, you know, <clears throat> sorry, customize the area, you will get some floors, you will get some furniture, and you will also get some decoration, right? So, it's really up to you. You can get some ideas from this video, but I think that's going to be something personal. I'm just going to teach you how to do it and the tips and tricks that I came over with. So, the first thing to know, the game itself explains that. It's self-explanatory. You left click an object and you are able to place it whatever you want in this case I'm gonna place this uh, green carpet or green floor and as you can see if I single click I can place it but if I hold my click I can spread the item everywhere I want so that's cool because that saves me a little bit of time if I'm in a rush or something but you know when you're decorating you shouldn't be rushing now to delete the objects you need to right click and you could right click or hold right click as you can see if you hold it you can delete whatever you want all right so keep that in mind now you will see me trying to get a design over here as you can see i try to get it as clean as i can um trying to get the correct color palette and stuff like that so you can add some plants you can add some books, you can add some uh, flasks, it's really up to you. 
I like to add things that tell what my character class is. So in this case, I'm adding plants because I'm an alchemist. So you need to notice that you can't use this furniture and it's just for decorating purpose. It's not that, okay, I have a chair. I'm going to sit down. No, you can't. As you can see here, um, changing the orientation of the objects, pressing shift. That's the way you shift the things. Whenever you're ready, just click on the check and you finished. And here is the results. All right. So that's Goldberg's Haven bags. I'm going to show you some different ones because you need to have an idea. So for example, this is Gunsel's with this uh, kind of cat looking floor. This is Geralt. A little bit simplistic with some weapons. This is Grillcast, a little bit more girly. And uh, finally, this is Encase, which is my main character. I mean, one of my first characters ever. He is 200 level, so there you go. So if you like this one, subscribe. And what are you waiting for? Go and customize your bag. Peace out.